everybody, my name is Prestige, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use GarageBand on a MacBook or a Mac. So, if you don't know what GarageBand is, GarageBand is a professional software where you can make music, and it is fun to use. So, today I'm going to be showing you how to use loops. So loops, what they are, they are basically like strings of music and you can combine them with other loops and it's really fun and I'm showing how to use loops on newer version of GarageBand so if you already have experience with GarageBand it's gonna be a bit different they don't have loops like like they did before where you could select a project and you know you, you could have the project has a loops like a loops projects project so yeah so first thing you want to first thing you want to do is open GarageBand, but you're gonna need a Mac for this. If you don't have a Mac, sorry, you can't use GarageBand unless you have a Mac, like a MacBook, an iMac, anything. So go to GarageBand. This is what it should look like. This is the one I'm using. Click on it. If you're working on something, it's gonna show up. So give it a second to load. It's going. I was working on something. Uh, anyway, this is what the new loops looks like. I was messing around a little bit. So, it does look different than the original kind of loops. So, this is kind of what it looks like. So, I'm going to close out of this. And then, if you don't have any projects, you're going to see this screen. So, if you want to use loops, you're going to have to go to, like, empty project. Sorry. And this is the way I did it. Um, there might be other ways to open loops, but I'm not sure. I don't know. This might be the only way. Let's see. They don't have loops. Anyway, choose. And this is going to pop up. And I just do this software in instrument. I'll press create. And this little keyboard is going to pop up. I'm going to close this for now. I'm going to minimize this by... If you see the two arrows, I'm just gonna click when it shows that and then just drag it. And you can make it smaller here if you wanted. And then the way the way to open loops is by pressing the loops button and voila, you have your loops. So basically this is the whole interface of GarageBand with loops, I guess. And basically what you do with loops, they are strings, as I said. So, for example, if I wanted to select 70s electric piano, I can first, you know, I can first preview it and see if I want to use it. So, so I want to use that. So I just drag it and just put it right there. So that means it's in the project. And the way to play a project, like, you know, to see how it sounds, you just press this little button here. And then the way to stop it is obviously this little rectangle. This is your slider. This is like high position the position of where you want it to start, so you can start here, 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 doesn't really matter. Now, if you're, like, if you have experience with music already, like, you play an instrument, and you want to have, like, a metronome, you click this button right here. When it's like that, it turns on, so it's like, you can hear that ding, ding, ding sound, that's the metronome. If you don't know what a metronome is, it's a way to keep yourself with the tempo. It's usually for playing instruments, not really for GarageBand, but it doesn't really matter. So, I'm going to turn that off for sanity. Anyway, then if you want to select like a genre, instrument, mood, you go over here, and let's say cheerful. I just want to find something like a harmonica. 
I'm just gonna put that here. I don't know, it's, it sounds terrible, but, like, I don't know, just for fun. So I'm gonna put it back and see how it sounds. Okay. Oh okay. And if you don't like something when you put it in, you can go to undo, undo, insert, but just, you could press the delete button, that's all. So, then you can change the volume of one, like, track. So it could be louder. So. And it's pretty useful. So, yeah. Now, when you select something, I forgot to say this. If you select something in loops, it's going to highlight and it's going to show all that's in the sub the category. But if you select two, it'll like show that are in It'll show them the show the ones that are in both categories. So let's say and like you know some of them won't be lighted up, so you won't use them. You can't use them. So if you deselect these, you can use them again. But let's say you click a bunch of them. You don't want to like click them again and get rid of them. You just press reset. Everything resets, and you can search for stuff. So I can search for. Uh, I don't know. I search for like airplane because GarageBand also has sound effects which you can use for movies and stuff. So let's see, sound effects here. So I need to download these, I guess. I don't know, but yeah, I, they're uh, they're free. So yeah, you need to download this. And whoa, fourteen gigabytes. Nope. Anyway. So that is basically the basics of GarageBand and Loops. This isn't exactly a detailed video, but it's basically to get you going and you know, you know, start having fun with this because you know it can get really fun. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment, subscribe, like, share, and those really help out. Those really help me. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe share. I'll see you guys later.